Adventures in Second Life, Episode 12. These five minute episodes are part of a series that explore Second Life, which, as many know, is a, um, you'd say, quote unquote, a, a virtual reality that is accessible on the net with uh, what one could call a browser or a client. And in the previous episode, we left off with going through, starting with going through the preferences of, of Second Life. And I've decided, I think in the last episode, I realized, oh my God, you could, you, you could waste a lot of time <laughs> going in so a lot of detail through all of the user interface. So I think I'm going to go over it more uh, at the surface level of it. And our, in our last episode, we, we left off here. Well, here's where we were exploring uh, preferences. Control P. I often use the hotkeys in Second Life. So Control P, you hit that, and you go into uh, this interface. Where we left off in episode 11 is here under general preferences. And of course, you can pause your screen and look at these settings. I think the main thing to note about this screen is that you can reset all settings. Very important. Well, let's kind of, um, with this limited time that we have, I'm going to click the clock now. So now I'm going to start at the five minutes, which means this video will be probably over that. And we'll just go through these tabs. Um, and let's remember that this. Uh, client that we're using is called Singularity. This is a third-party client. Um, Second Life has its own client, which I haven't used in a while, but the last version I used, which was fairly up-to-date, was pretty good. But um, Singularity really um, satisfies my needs uh, because I really, uh, as a, a long-time user of Second Life, I really loved those first interfaces. Um, and this emulates those. So that's why I use it. But I think almost all of these things are, are universal. They're just presented in slightly different ways. So let's go through this preferences. Uh, we looked at general here in input, input in camera. We see a lot, you know, a lot of settings here. But again, you can, you can go ahead and uh, hit pause and look at these. I think a lot of them are self-explanatory, but this is just you know the input device you use which is usually you know your keyboard your mouse and also and this is very important uh, well to me it is the joystick setup which we can get to in another time this is pretty cool though because you can buy a little El Cheapo game um, joystick uh, device and, and just with a few simple you know things to do you can set this up I mean it looks really complicated but um, to get it working is, is really uh, pretty easy so cool and incidentally what I do because there's no really way to save this is what I do is once I get my settings right on this I do a screen cap and then I keep that for future reference okay so that's input in camera the next is we have network and we have basic things like where you can adjust how you know according to how much bandwidth you have you can set the cache uh, you can see mine is set at 760 megabytes which I think is for me quite sufficient even less is probably you can set the location of where you want that big file to be kept um, and a few other things proxy I've never used these things but um, you know there is additional functionality on this page go to the web um, there are links when you encounter in Second Life, and this kind of sets up whether you use the built-in Second Life web browser or if you want to use one of your own. And also here, very important, you can clear now. If you click this button now, it will set it as a flag, so the next time you start it, it will clear the cache, which is very good. That Those 760 megabytes that we saw here uh, will then be uh, deleted. And this is actually something I highly recommend uh, to do. Um, you know, not every time, but maybe every few times, clear it. 
but the cash is very also very beneficial because if you go to certain places a lot the same places um, and it caches things like the backgrounds and some of the textures it'll be much faster to to load up next thing graphics okay this is very very important because second life is all about graphics I have a very mediocre card it's not really a game card or anything so my uh, w the thing to do is here is is go to reset to defaults and this is going to you know second life is pretty good about determining uh, you know your hardware and what's going to be the best match but um, you know you can go in here and click custom and you will get a lot of um, you know options in here to play with and you can push your card to the limit so this is pretty cool there's a lot of stuff in here um, again I'm gonna I think I've decided at this point you know to do my first stretch of episodes is I'm gonna go over these a bit superficially so I'm not gonna go into the details of all of these okay so that's graphics amazing there's also a hardware tab here and a depth of field uh, uh, tab here which is something I really love a lot and uh, I hope I continue making these episodes long enough to get to that because I, that's another subdivision of this next tab audio and video uh, these again you can pause and see some of these function this functionality some of these settings most of these I don't really mess with except for the the volume settings which I'll get to later because they're they're at the bottom down here uh, th some of these other uh, parts of the UI to later and we're gonna leave off there audio and video that's about my five minutes as we go through the UI in Second Life <laughs>